What's going on YouTube? This is Dreader Plug coming at you guys with another video coming at y'all with some more technical heat. In this video, I'm basically going to discuss how to make a speaker for whatever project you're probably trying to create. Just how to crank up the volume to your project that you're trying to make. So you have your typical headphone jack or your power and ground that you can connect to it with, right? And you hook it up to a speaker, any type of speaker, right? Now let's just say it's not loud at all. Like you barely hear anything, it's super, super low. It says that it's a loud speaker, but for some reason, because you hooked it up to your aux and you connected it, the power and ground, it's just still not loud. So the thing that's gonna crank up your actual audio, your actual speaker, is gonna be this right here. It's an amplifier that can pretty much crank up the volume. And as you guys know how amplifiers typically work, it's gonna multiply it and make it much, much, much louder. And this is used for any type of speaker, I'll say, for about five volts. It's pretty much how much output you could do to actually make this work. So it works perfectly with the Arduino. So if you have some voice commands you're working on, you have any type of audio, a couple of songs that you want to hear. If you want a sound to go off and trigger at a certain point and you want it to be loud enough, this is a good alternative to crank up that mini speaker and actually really hear it and get a good sense of how loud it will be and see how it just plays a part into your project because there's nothing like having a project and then you have like an audio setting and you barely hear it and you have to be really, really close up on it as if it was a headphone, but you will like for it to be loud like a mini speaker and this is gonna give you the ability to do that it's an amplifier i'll definitely drop all of the information down in the description below and i'll actually show you guys how to put this together and typically make it work let's get into the video so jumping into this amplifier so as you guys can see it's like four ports to the right and then you have two to the left the two to the left is the power and ground as i always talk about and then the ones to the right you have a power and a ground specifically for each designated speaker so one to the right you will have a power and ground and then one to the left you can have the power and ground so technically you can have two speakers on this one amplifier and cramp it all the way up based on the knob so that's pretty much it that's pretty much how the whole entire amplifier work if you just want to add speakers to your arduino project or any type of project so the first thing i'm gonna do is actually attach this amplifier to a five volt source because you're going to want that power can it go to the 3.3 volts yes it can but i mean we want the maximum power right but i mean like if you was using this five volt section for something else you have the option of using the 3.3 then we're going to hook up our other one to the ground and then right there we pretty much have our power for the actual speakers so now we're looking at our positive and negative part for the speaker you see you have positive negative and then right here you're going to see that same designated spots right there you can see a negative and you can see a positive then you see another positive and you see another negative just look right there up in the middle of it so what I'm gonna do is just basically place it in there and with my Phillips screwdriver, I'm gonna just tighten it in there so it's locked and it's in place because you don't want the wires to go shifting and moving around and then one of them come out and then the audio stop. You want it to be locked in place. So that way you can have some legit speakers. So right now I'm going and I'm really just locking it down. I want it to be as flat as possible. Then I'm going with my other one, making sure it's flat as possible. Cause like I said, you don't want this to be moving around and whatever, whatever type of electronic project you're trying to create, that's the last thing you want. Just make sure it's locked in place. So once you do that and you have everything hooked up perfectly, you just hook up your jack and just listen real closely and see how your audio is loud now. Just crank it all the way up and switch the knob and you'll be able to hear it.
and that green knob up there to the very top pretty much shows you that it's on just letting you know that's how you'll know the power is going through it and right here you can pretty much see a positive and negative what I was talking about before and there you go you will know exactly where to place the wires purchase your tracks And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help the channel. Definitely go check out my Instagram, DreDaPlug123. And then go also check out my other YouTube channel. I'll have a link down below. This was the channel I started a little while ago. Well, it's basically about barbering and basically giving your own self a first cut and looking nice when you step out the house. So definitely check out that channel. I do all types of different haircuts. And be looking forward for the next video that drops. And I'm out.